I need it. I need this filter. Where do I put my money? This is insane. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name's David. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Today I want to talk to you about the Moment Anamorphic Drone Filter. I don't know how it hasn't already been done, but this is insane. I want to give you guys an idea of what anamorphic is, anamorphic lenses, anamorphic filters, and tell you why I'm going to really enjoy this Moment Anamorphic Drone Filter and why it's so amazing and like, seriously. How has it not been done? So I really want to just jump straight into it because this is such a revolutionary topic and I want to get through it really quick with you guys. So first of all, let's talk about anamorphics and kind of the idea of anamorphic and what it is. So pretty much an anamorphic video is going to be stretched out a lot. So the black bars that you see when you watch YouTube videos or very cinematic stuff, those are real in anamorphic. They're not like edited on. Those are real. The lens will cut off things. It will stretch the clip out and make the video kind of longer. It'll give you those black bars in camera. And you know how I feel about things in camera. Absolutely amazing. The more you can do in camera, the better because it's going to be so much more genuine, so much more real and a lot less work for post-production. And this stretching kind of vibe is going to give you that cinematic feel when you're recording videos and whatnot. Anamorphic lenses, first of all, they are so expensive like extremely expensive like you can have like a like a eight thousand dollar lens right now imagine the anamorphic version that's probably gonna be like thirty thousand dollars the lenses are super expensive that's why it's not used a lot but you can see that it's used in a lot of music videos and high-end productions and stuff because the look it gives is so 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 amazing like it gives off a very buttery smooth cinematic look as well as amazing light flares i do have a prism lens effects filter that gives some anamorphic flares but it does not match up with the quality of an actual anamorphic lens there is one issue with that filter and i want to save that for a different video but you know it's the anamorphic filter that's coming from the moment lens it's it, it basically matches an anamorphic lens so the way it kind of pulls off these lens flares is something down the middle of the lens that will reflect or retract light and you know pull it across the the sensor of the camera so i'm going to use the prism lens effects filter just to show you you can see that there's kind of there's a prism straight down the middle when it comes to anamorphics it's going to be like a like a streak of like a line down the middle of the lens that you kind of just, it's just there that is going to give you those amazing flares here's some example of those flares it is so so beautiful and i can show you some flares that i got on these this lens here this filter it's it's absolutely amazing and some people may not like those flares but man you can add them in post-production with like downloaded overlays but it's definitely not as natural as having a filter or a lens on your camera that can create those beautiful beautiful flares that genuine black bar look and it is absolutely amazing i am definitely buying this moment lens because they definitely like read my mind because i literally bought a mavic 2 pro the other the other week i have it right here which is crazy and i have been obsessing over flares so they literally read my mind i woke up this morning looked at it ignored it and went back to it and i was like yo i need to buy this filter right now so i i opened up the page i invested it i made that purchase and i pledged and yo <laughs> i am super excited i know it's gonna take a few months to get in but I am super excited. Now, what this is gonna do for you, it's gonna give you amazing flares. If you're flying your drone into the sunset, if you're tracking a car, if you have like, you know, over the water shots and the sun's beaming down and the light retracts off of the ocean and you get this flare across the ocean and it looks super sick. Like it is insane. I love anamorphic flares, everything anamorphic. I love flares and in-camera stuff because it is so genuine. You can't add a genuine anamorphic flare in post-production that will match perfectly and super well because it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen in that way. It, it's just things straight out of camera are so genuine. So the ability to slap this on your drone, get a genuine flare from the sky or a car or something you're tracking or the ground itself when it ref reflects that light from the sun, it is insane. So I am super excited to have and you know use this filter. So I can't wait. If you guys wanna purchase this or pledge for this filter, check out the link in the description below. It, it's going to get 30% uh, off because it's a Kickstarter. They're doing a pre-release, a pre-sale, and I'm so excited. <laughs> like you can, I'm really excited. Anyways, that is all for today's video, guys. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day, morning, night, or wherever you're watching from, and I'll see you then. Peace.